Right boys, so just kick episode number 7 off, I'm showing you this screen here, 15th of December, ultimate difficulty, we're playing Man City, what I've done is I've connected a second controller, and I've set the squad to the hardest squad possible, or the highest rated squad possible, just so it's more of a challenge, I'm going to do that with the big teams, the smaller teams usually play a decent side against us anyway, but for the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, United, Liverpool, Spurs, and City, I will put a second controller on, and make the team very difficult. Just before the game started, I just wanted to show you that. Like you just saw, we are taking on City away from home at the Etihad. First place versus third place. We have dropped down. Leicester have snuck into second place. So we've got Leicester and Everton in the top four. Bit of bit of a diversity from what it's normally like. Nice stadium. It is a nice stadium. It's just not full most of the time. Ooh, hey! But this time it does look full. It looks nice. But yeah, I added like Mares in instead of um, Silva. I added Company instead of Laporte, Mendy instead of Danilo, De Bruyne instead of Foden, stuff like that. Um, so now the team looks very, very tough. And this is the kind of team they play against someone who was also in the top four with them. Uh, the only one I didn't really know was oh, I put on Aguero for Jesus as well. The one I didn't know was Mares for Bernardo Silva. I just went up with Mares because he had more stamina. Um, but yeah, just trying to make it a bit more difficult for me. Here's our squad. I've actually changed from the 4-4-1-1 to a 4-2-3-1. Mbambu, Mina, Zuma, Digne, Dyer and Gay at the CDM positions. Bernard, Gomez and Richardson. R Gomez is actually playing as a centre forward, not a cam. And then Mina at strike. Turn off the device. Okay, there we go. We're taking on a difficult city side who are top of the league currently, looking to do uh, retain their current Premier League trophy. This can be a very difficult game on ultimate against the best team in the league. Santi Mina got a hat trick in the final game of the episode last time out. Dyer tried to get past company, the veteran centre back. Riyad Mahrez, Digne. Got a touch on that, forced it out, actually closer to our goal, but further from Kevin De Bruyne. Gundogan gets Dyer. Oh, Casemiro goes down from the force of a Dyer tackle. Gundogan out to Sterling. Raheem Sterling does it on Mbambu and nicely played into the unmarked Aguero. Nice piece of skill from Sterling there on Mbambu. And Aguero just, just taps it home. And we're 1 0 down 13 minutes into this one. Look at this Gundogan out to Sterling. Does him there with him. Kind of body faints. Mina, I don't know what Mina's doing there, but he's unmarked. Look, no one near him. That just all happened so quickly, I didn't even commentate. Pass around the edge of the box. So nice from them. De Bruyne. Aguero leaves it, lets it run for his legs. Gundogan, nice reaction to save from Pickford. Probably would have expected Aguero to take that shoot, but the quick decision from him there. Get it out. And again, nice. Drilled up to Richarlison. Tried to cross it in, we do get a corner. Bernard's going to take it. Just floats it in. Richarlison! Just wide. Just wide. 26 minutes in. Just before the half an hour mark. Going to Gay. Anderson. Oh, could have played that into Mina. Could have had one last chance. Unfortunately not. We are 1 0 down at half time. Not the worst. We've had our own. We've had our fair share of chances. Uh, we just need to try and put one of them away. Riyad Mahrez. De Bruyne, Digne, out to Mahrez. Cuts back inside. And Babu clears. Only as far as Aguero. Casemiro into De Bruyne. Tackled by Garnet Gay. Still has the ball. Digne clears. Only as far as Mahrez. Back to Casemiro. Back to Mahrez. Mahrez to Gundogan. Casemiro, Gundogan. Mahrez, Gundogan, Aguero. 
Going for a second, going for the brace. Okay, and we clear it. Okay, bit of time, bit of breathing room. Oh no, it is Bernardo Silva, David Silva Stein. Oh, the man. The play here is incredible. Jesus. That build up play to that goal was incredible. Literally, a couple seconds after coming on, a couple minutes, sorry, after coming on, the patented phone celebration. 63 minutes in. We go 2 0 down, Nan City double their lead. Ball down to Richarlison. Shoots across goal. Great save, Edison. I think that's. One of our first shots in this second half. Bernard whips it in. Gomez rises high, scores. Go get the match ball. Get the match. Get the ball. Okay, picks up the ball. Here we go. Gomez, third goal in the league. Got 20 minutes left to get one more. Lovely corner. Lovely delivery from Bernard. It's 2-1. No, 2-2, two, two, sorry. Bernard and Andre Gomes setting up to get this comeback. 74 minutes in, it's 2-2. Two, two. Bernard and Gomez, or Gomes, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. That's his second assist of the game, and that is Gomes' second goal of the game. I thought he was offside there, so I stopped. And I also thought Andre Gomez was offside. But he just tucks it home. So right here, Vincent Company's playing Bernard onside. And then Mendy, as he comes out to get the ball, plays Gomez on side. And because company's out of position, Gomez can score. And it's 2 2. I thought he was going to cross it, so I slid in. Cleared from Derek Dyer. We're going to go ultra defensive. Kevin De Bruyne. Bruno. Uh, Bernardo, sorry. Mendy. Mendy. Silva. Oh, Jesus. 10 minutes left, 6 minutes after we score our second, they score their third, Jesus gets the brace, Gomez is actually through, oh unselfishly could have just played it through to Richarlison, oh Gabriel Jesus is through on goal, could get his hat trick, Ababu comes across, Jesus gets his hat trick, ends 4-2 is what it looks like it's going to end. Gabriel Jesus, after getting subbed on, gets past Mina there with ease, and he just leaves everyone in their tracks. He could have played it across to Sterling if Ababu got too close. But that's his hat trick, and we go 4 2 down against Man City. And I wonder what this is going to affect this is going to have on our league position. There we go, 4 2 loss. Unlucky. Jesus gets the match ball. For us, our player of the match was probably. probably Andre Gomez. Alright, game number two of the episode. We are back at home, back at Goodison, taking on Newcastle United. Now we're in the busy, busy schedule of Christmas time in the Premier League. So I am playing a slightly rotated side. We've got Belcourt in goal, Digne, Keane, Holgate and Bamboo, Davies and Maitland Niles at the CDM, Versberger, Alwa, Yannick Balassi and Mina up top. Now Newcastle are in 16th place, 16 points in 16 games. We are up in 5th place, I do believe, with 28 points, uh, with a game in hand that could see us go 3rd or 4th. Yeah, we've got, we've got a big game against Spurs up next, so I thought rest the side against Newcastle and then uh, go hard against Spurs. Versberg has played through. We cut back. Thinking in the middle. Mina! Right into the path of Carl Darlow. Half an hour in, that's the best chance of the game so far. And the Niles shoots and scores, runs right through. He might be a good cam. But there we go, Maitland Niles with his second goal of the season, I do believe. Celebrates with Versberger. Awa plays him through. Finds the space, he's, got, he's quick enough to get through. Shoots cross goal, Darlow, no saving that. Really nice goal. Mina just wired the post. 
40 minutes left in the game. Literally just off of our kickoff. We get a decent chance. Tom Davies. Oh, I can see it. Half an hour left, Jamie Vardy scores. God damn it. Oh. Can see it again. Awa was a great goal. 91st minute, one minute left in the game. Awa scores a brilliant goal. Picks it up, turns, plays it into Mina. Mina plays it back on the edge of the D. Bends it in, nicely done. Goal of the season contender right there. Really nice. Especially the circumstances of the goal. Saved us a point. Very well done. Not the best result, really should have won that one, but you live and you learn, and we uh, we move on. They've had two shots, scored two. Two shots in the whole game, uh, they were both in the second half and they were both goals. Unlucky from us. Let's go into the final game. Okay, final game of the episode, taking on Spurs at home, we've got a lucky draw against Newcastle in the previous game, but look at that, Richardson doing some flicks, some little tricks for the ball, he may not just keep you up his but you know. Uh, so yeah, Spurs at home. Our player to watch, Eric Dias, coming up against his old side. First game against Spurs since he joined us. As for the Spurs squad, Lloris in goal. A back four of Sedibe, Foyf, Alderweireld and Kurzawa. Amos, Skip at two CDM positions. Eriksen, Ali and Son as the three attacking midfielders. And Harry Kane up top. Now, what I forgot to do this game is change their squad to the hardest team possible. Tried to tackle Zuma, he ended up on the floor. It's a tail, it's a classic tail. Lovely back heel. Digne's got space to run into. Early cross, back post. Bernard's not going to win a header. Santimina, poor touch. One good game against Watford and he seems to have gone back down in form. Unfortunate, really. <laughs> Lovely from Garner Gay. Just turns it on when he needs to. And right then he needed to. That was meant for Harry Dyer. But Garner Gay's got it covered. Garner Gay's our most important player. Last game before Christmas. And... Uh, it's been a difficult one. Very difficult. I think we've had a fair share of chances, really. Yeah, exactly the same amount of chances. Mina is going to have to come off because he's looking tired up top. He'll probably have to come off this half, but I don't know who I've got to place him up top. Maybe Richarlison up top. Space has opened up for... That's a foul. Fouled him just before he's about to pass it to Santi Mina, who was through. Unlucky. Bernard. Dinks on the lot. He was on the line and you almost dinked him. Oh my god. Bernard's going to whip this one in. Nice whip on that. Richarlison rises the highest and he scores. Goal number 11 on the season for Richarlison. Again, Brazilian wingers are normally, not normally that physical. But Richarlison, he rises the highest over the top of, I'm not sure who he was being marked by, Ericsson at that near post. I think it would have been a handball anyway off of Kurzawa. Let's have a look here. Yeah, he puts his arm in an unnatural position. I think that would have been a penalty if handballs were turned on. But it does go in. Richarlison makes it 1-0 just past half time. Eric Dyer puts his body on the line. Uh, we're getting forward now. No, we're not. Oh, Deli Alley's got space in front of him. Harry Kane somehow got that past Pickford. How did that get past Pickford? Deli Alley finds Harry Kane. 
first time, oh, there was a lot of space there actually. From the first angle, it didn't look like there was much space, but 1-1. One, one. Ten minutes after we score, they score an equaliser. And Babu just passed it right into the path of Huang Min's son. He just passed it right to him. He intercepted it, passed it right back to him. And we're 2 1 down. 20 minutes. In the space of 20 minutes, we went from being 1 0 up to being 2 1 down. Spurs might just hold position for the uh, possession, sorry. For the rest of these five minutes. Sadibe looking to kill off the game. Puts it across, it goes all the way across. Hopefully, nope, Wang Min Sun keeps it in. Garnike heads are clear. Only as far as Musa Dembele. Musa Dembele to Sissoko. Sissoko tackle. Deli Ali scores 3 1. No coming back from that. They all went to celebrate with Poch. 3 1 loss. We are shit. 3-1 loss, that's how we end the episode. Two losses at, and a draw. That's a pretty bad episode in terms of results. Games was decent, we got some high scoring games. Hopefully in the next episode we can perform better. Uh, and I'll see you then actually in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, please like, subscribe and peace.